possibilities just seem endless. You're not constrained by general design for manufacturing guidelines. They're really changing the way manufacturing is done. Still after 25 years of this, I consider it revolutionary. Cast-urethane is a great intermediate step between uh, rapid prototyping or uh, prototyping in general into the mass production because um, it provides you with a functioning part using production grade material. The biggest advantage is, is time. We can save a lot of time getting to initial parts. You can justify doing parts multiple times for testing. So I think cast urethanes are great because they're extremely versatile. You can use them from small parts to large parts. They come in rigid and elastomeric properties. We can do composites inside cast urethanes. So it's a great way to get parts to market without having to wait or spend the capital investing in injection molding or hard tooling. So the cast urethane process starts with a master pattern. The master pattern can be created through uh, 3D printing, CNC, or it can be customer supplied. From that pattern, it's prepped, and we put it into what we call a mold box, and we pour silicone all over it. That silicone cures overnight, and then the next day we open it up by surgically slicing a defined parting line, and removing the master pattern. That creates the mold. The two halves are reassembled, and the remaining cavity is filled with polyurethane or other material. That cavity is a one-to-one -one scale of what your final product would be. The mold is then placed into a heated vacuum chamber to harden and cure. And then that part comes out of the silicone tool, and then you can just remove some of the flash or some of the gating, and there's your final product. Uh, and in terms of speed, I mean, that's pretty much what you're looking at. Um, it doesn't take that long compared to uh, hard tooling um, in terms of getting parts out to the customer. Many of our customers are using urethane in production, and they want production paint and production artwork, and maybe EMI RFI shielding on the inside. We also cast in color, so we can match a color for most of our, our rigid plastics. We also do light assembly on cast urethane if that's required, and that becomes your final product. In the last 10 years, cast urethane has moved from prototyping into production. Our customers have seen that the material properties as well as the cosmetic properties are able to get end-use products. I think the coolest part about cast urethane is its diversity. You can do a lot of different types of materials, and that means you can do a lot of different types of projects. And I envision this technology being considered a full-blown production solution and really taking that to the mass market uh, globally in the next 10 years.